one of my agents texted me like, yo, Abercrombie's in Miami, they want pictures. Now, since I do model, I look at brands and I see their campaigns. And if I don't see no black people in it, or if I don't feel like they're targeting towards that, I might be like, yo, I can't even rock that. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to BTTV. I am your host, Brandy Truth. I have a very special guest who I am so ready to chop it up with, Herbert Coleman, model. I know y'all probably see him all over Instagram and in stores. Herb, how are you feeling? Hey, I'm good, man. Just blessed to be here. Perry Ellis, Dick Sporting Goods, yeah. Abercrombie. You walk in the runway, you in the music right. videos, and now you right, acting right. too? Yeah, yeah. Acting, acting is probably like the most passionate thing that I've found in my life so far. Like, and uh -huh. it's, I'm new to it. I'm new to it. So I'm getting it some time, but yeah, I like it a lot so far. Well, listen, we're going to talk about all of your endeavors today. But first, yeah. I want to know, how did you even get started into modeling? All right. Well, the story is not traditional at all. Okay. Um, so back in, I want to say 2017, I was in class and I had a friend, her name was Kat. And like, I owe a lot to her. She was, she was, we were just in class, you know, chilling. And one day we were like, yo, she was like, yo, let's go to the beach. So I went with her to the beach. And then on the way to the beach, she was like, I want to stop by these modeling agencies and do some uh, walk-ins. So I was like, all right, cool. I didn't know much about modeling at the time. So we went uh -huh. into an agency. I was sitting in the lobby waiting for her. One of the guy agents was walking out to call the next person. And he asked me, like, do I model? And obviously at the time, I'm like, nah, like, you know, modeling, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then he's like, yo, you should really think about it. So I was like, and I called my mom. I was like, what do you think? Whatever. So I went to the back. I, he asked me if I had any pictures. I was like, no, nah, I never did a photo shoot at this time or nothing. Wow. So he saw my Instagram and he's like, oh, you know, if you do a test shoot, which I didn't know what, what it was at the time and come back, you know, you might have some good uh, images. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. So as we were leaving, she was like, yo, we're going to go to another agency. Tell them that you want to model. So I was like, all right, cool. So we went to the next place. I told them I want to model. And um, they're like, oh, we'll sign you. We'll set you up with uh, photographers. And that's, that's pretty much what happened. Yeah. That is, that's a very unique story. What was your yeah. first gig? It's called the Cap on France. It was like a running, um, running company. It's like overseas. Were you nervous? Like, how did you prepare nah, for the first gig? Every, everything, like, in my early stages of modeling, I had to, I took the attitude of not caring because, like, growing up in Miami is not cool or is not something that, um, that you know a lot about. So, in my mind, I was just like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to see what, what can really happen. But then I, I started getting a lot of signs from like different places that it was like a real thing. You know what I'm saying? You signed with Wilhelmina Models, right? I'm with Wilhelmina in Chicago and I'm with Select in uh, Miami. Select Models Miami. That is huge. What was your reaction the first time that you saw like your face plastered in a store for something? Honestly, the first thing that happened was in March I remember all the dates like it's yeah. crazy, in March 2018 it was like Instagram ads for Foot Locker so at this time it was still early so not a lot of people knew that I was modeling and acting and stuff so it they posted on their Instagram and I was leaving and mad people started sending me DMs so I looked I was like what is it so then I saw it was that and I was like oh like this that is, is crazy yeah. yeah it was lit and I'm sure, like, throughout life, you always probably shop at Foot Locker. So would you, like, imagine, like, yeah, having your yeah. face on that? Yeah, it's a few, it's a few brands that, um, that I worked with that I, uh, that I used to, like, think about as a kid. Uh-huh. So it was pretty dope, yeah. What collaboration were you most surprised by? Like, oh, my gosh, like, this is crazy. Uh, so, so, um, it was around, I want to say 3 p.m. one day, right? And then one of my agents texted me like, yo, Abercrombie's in Miami. They want pictures, whatever, to shoot for the next day. So I sent the pictures, like digitals. And then later on that night, I want to say like 7 p.m., they told me I was shooting the next day. And then I went and I shot with uh, Abercrombie. It was, it was awesome. Like we were on planes, jet skis, boats. And like all the models at the time were like one of like bigger models, I guess you could say, because they were signed with like, some of the best agencies and et cetera, et cetera. Do you practice taking your pictures? Are you practicing your angles or uh, is it all so, this is natural? Um, the thing is, when I first started, like when I figured out I was getting serious, serious, I was like, all right, I know what I'm going to do. Like, 
I'm going to do as much research as I can. So I was just looking at mad videos and then I would see people shoot and like be a sponge, like take everything from them. I learned really quick how to pose and I don't like the biggest thing is to not overthink it when you're changing pose and just be as natural as you can. Modeling, you know, it's natural that you got to have some swag, right? So yeah, what's yeah, more yeah. so your type vibe? Are you like the casual? Do you like the urban wear? Are you more so black tie or do you feel like you could just do it all? um like personally yeah oh and nah, i i got a shopping habit like i like going to designer stores and shopping oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you gotta experience some taste <laughs> yeah yeah so how would you describe your swag maybe before modeling versus now that you have more of a fashion sense um the thing is like before modeling i was kind of just buying things for the brand but now since i this is one thing that has changed though now since i do model I look at brands and I see their campaigns and if I don't see no black people in it or if I don't feel like they're targeting towards that, I might be like, yo, I can't even rock that. Like, you know? Yeah. yeah. Representation yeah. is so serious. And you know, we yeah. need more black models, it's male and female. So yeah. are you like cognizant of like your contribution to black culture as you're yeah, yeah. doing For your sure. craft? For sure. Um the thing is growing up in South Florida, mostly I wanna say is it's not cool. Like, no one wants to be a male model. It's like a stigma behind it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, one, one thing I always thought it was weird because personally, growing up, I didn't know any other models at all. I didn't. But again, maybe I just wasn't aware. But even to this day, like, I don't know any other black male models personally from Miami, Florida, besides myself. Like, so it's something that's gonna change. I do believe. Yeah. Um, but. It just takes time. How far do you want to take modeling? Like, where do you want to go? What are some, some of your goals? I mean, to be honest, like, I've really been focusing on the acting because with modeling, it's more of a look, so it's harder to control. But with acting, you can really pour your, your all into it and um, try, to, try to work on the craft as much as you can. Mm -hmm. With modeling, like, my, my, I guess my steps to modeling now would be signing in L.A., I want to sign in LA, sign overseas, maybe like London, sign in New York, mm -hmm. like stuff like that. Do you have yeah. a preference of runway work, photo shoots, or music videos? Like, which do you enjoy the most? So, uh, print work is is the best financially. Uh huh. Um, so I like the print work that ends up in stores and stuff like that. I like that a lot. Um, commercial work or music videos, anything TV wise for me is the funnest. Yeah. And runway, like I personally, I don't really like runway shows that much. Like, no? the, yeah, the pay is not the gr the greatest. Um, it's real fast. Like, I guess some of them are fun, but I've done only like three shows, mm -hmm. so I don't. It's not like it's cool. It's real uh -huh. cool though. Like, don't get me wrong, it's, yeah. it's cool. But personally, it's like I could live without it. How did you master like your runway walk? I honestly, um, I just made it my own. Like, I we have someone at our, we have one of the agents that like teaches the runaway sessions. But again, like, to me, it's like if they book me, then I'll get it. You know, because a lot of times with runway shows, it's based on the look, especially for men. Uh -huh. And um, like I said, I've been through some situations where it's like they they might only have one black guy in the whole show. Mm -hmm. So it kind of it kind of makes you feel like it makes you whatever about it you know because like mm -hmm. what are we really basing it on you know i know that you mentioned that a dream of yours is acting and that you're yeah. in the beginning stages of pursuing that however sure. do, would you ever consider like another goal maybe a milestone in the future is maybe having your own modeling agency or a casting agency for right. these different media outlets where you're in control and you get to decide who you want to put out there and maybe right. we'll have more representation have you ever thought about right. that well, my, like, I guess my end goal would be to, like, I want to open up a, like, a teaching facility in South Miami, or in, I want to go, like, more south, so, like, Color Bay, Richmond Heights, uh -huh. Homestead, like, down, down, down south, whereas kids can get, like, acting lessons, mm -hmm. and do, like, proper headshots and learning techniques, and down here, it'll give a lot of kids, like, a whole different viewpoint on a career in life. Because it's, it's more than acting. It's writing, it's directing, yeah. it's filming, it's producing. It's like everything that we can always do that we don't get a lot of opportunities yeah. because we don't have the knowledge to, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You mentioned that you were a basketball player. 
before right. you started modeling. So then you get this this opportunity with Dick Sporting Goods. I'm sure you shot yeah. there prior to modeling. Like right, how right, close right. is that? Yeah. Seeing that like come full circle, like you shot. Yeah, that there. was that was probably that was probably one of the, the greatest. And I worked with them twice, so uh -huh. that was probably one of my one of the most like the the best moments I had when I went in the store and I saw it because you. Josh actually um Mason oh okay worked there yeah 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 oh, okay. and, uh, he was the one that told me <laughs> crazy right that is crazy. he was the one that told me it was in there he was the one that told me it was in there so I was like oh man and then I got it when it when it went out the stores they'd be like get the poster and keep it uh-huh so that that was a full circle moment for sure like I'm a city girls fan so I oh, gotta yeah. ask how was it being a part of that music video like that so, is so cool that that was another interesting uh situation so I was at home and um one of my one of the the video guys I wanna say hit me up through Instagram and was like, Hey, we're shooting this music video. Do you wanna come? So I didn't I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know who the city girls were at the time. Like I was I was I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how, but I didn't know. I didn't think I was gonna be in it as much as I was, to be honest. Yeah, you're but, in there a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're mad cool though. Ooh, I'm glad to see like how they're um blowing up. And the music videos is what made me want to pursue acting. With acting, how far do you want to go with that? Like, are you setting the pinnacle as to Denzel level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you want to go all the I'm way. I'm trying to be the. I'm trying to be the best. And yeah. It just it just happens that my dad actually went to North Carolina School of the Arts. So my dad went to college. Wow. And again, this is something that I never paid attention to until five months ago, maybe. Uh huh. So it's all new, but um. Yeah, yeah, I've been taking classes. I just signed with the um acting agency, Time Direct Agency. Uh huh. And Congrats. I actually auditioned for them six months before they signed me, and they they let me audition again, and I finally got signed. Were you so on edge, like, like waiting, like oh, it's taking so long? No, I I auditioned. They told me to take some classes to get better, so I was uh -huh. like, all right, cool, you know, let the modeling pay for itself. And then I want to say in February this year. I auditioned again, and then they signed me to like an exclusive Southeast contract and all that. That is crazy. What are some gems that you can drop to young black men who want to pursue a career in modeling or acting? First, with with modeling, you got to be careful because you need to find a management that you feel comfortable with, because there's a lot of things that go on in the industry that can make you uncomfortable or, or they promise you a lot and then they don't meet the promises or so disappointed. So first and foremost, like getting signed is, is a big part of the battle because a lot of agencies don't sign. But once you do cross that barrier and you are signed, mm -hmm. it's just staying on top of your stuff. Like one thing that I do that I feel like helps me a lot is whenever I book a job and I do a job, I make sure to get the pictures from the job so I can have it to add to my um, portfolio. Right. Because that's like important for your book. Um, test shooting is important. Shooting with good people mm -hmm. is important. Even if you have to spend your own money, like, you know, it's, I feel like it's, it's, it's worth it once you yeah. get in, especially yeah. now, like they, they, it, it's time for us. Like right. they don't really use this a lot. So There's no way that you can have had opportunities with Abercrombie, Dick Sporting Goods, Perry Ellis, and that you haven't endured any challenges. What are some challenges that maybe you can shed light on? Um, like the hardest part is just booking the job, like and staying optimistic throughout because you can get optioned for a lot of things. Like place on option means that the client wants you. Mm -hmm. So the client can want you and then release you. And then it's like you just can't get down. Yeah, you just can't get down on yourself and you can't get too high. So you gotta just find that balance. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever find yourself starting to question or get frustrated maybe if modeling was for you or acting was even for yeah, you? Yeah, all the, all the time, all the time. It's part of it, though. You just never know. And it's right. like you see people working real jobs, I guess you say real jobs mm -hmm. and, and different things. But it's been good for me, so I can't, I can't, like, give up on myself now, you know? Wow. Well, much success to you, Herb. Thank you for this you. interview. It was just such a pleasure just talking yeah, to you. Thank you. I man. can't thank wait to see you all over the big screen, yeah. all in the stores and the magazines everywhere. Much success. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you. Um, what you're doing is very important. Like, you're a real pioneer in this, too. Thank so you. So I want you to thank you, understand that, you know? Thank you so much. No problem.